Hey guys, I'm Alana from WinWin and welcome to this video which is all about different jobs platforms and basically how to use them. In this video I'm going to go over the top four jobs platforms that I recommend. I'm going to show you how to use them, how you can find jobs. It's really really simple and get jobs to come to you. I'm also going to show you how to get jobs without applying using one of them and I'm going to show you my number one platform that I use. Some people don't rate it but uh, quite frankly I don't care because with with a kick-ass resume and a candidate that meets minimum criteria and having using their Seek and LinkedIn profile I can basically get anyone any job ever that's right by the way hit that subscribe button right there so you can uh, so you don't miss out on any content that's gonna get you employed and if you haven't already done it feel free to come and join the win-win FIFO oil and gas mining and construction group where we've got a ton of exclusive job opportunities just for you that is right okay cool anyway let's go to the top four platforms that I recommend and I'm going to tell you why. The very first one is Indeed. You might have seen Indeed. Of course you've got all the other ones like Jora, Azuna, blah blah blah. I don't know there's too many to mention but this one here is actually a really great platform. We used to advertise for this one, oh, sorry on this one because back in the day it was actually free for, or for employers to advertise their jobs so it can save you a ton of money. That also meant that there were a ton of jobs that weren't advertised on platforms where you actually had to pay them like seek etc so that's where indeed is a really really fantastic um, platform to use you can upload your resume obviously create your little account blah 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 and start doing searches it's really easy so you can put in whatever oh, Christmas casual or everybody's favorite dump truck trainee dump truck let's trainee let's see what comes up obviously i'll put that one in there anyway uh, where obviously you put in the field and then you go hit the find jobs button really really simple okay nothing is coming up for that one so obviously you play around with the different the different um names of the jobs or you can put the employer straight in there like what you just saw with that bhp one let's see what comes up there there you go bhp apprenticeship drill and blast fantastic so then you just pull this down here and it's going to show you a ton of different um, jobs that have that search in it it's really easy to use and this is number four on the list the next one is actually one that I've got my eye on. This one here is trying to rival um, some of the other platforms. This one is by the Atlum Group. It's a US company and they're definitely one to watch. They're starting to like definitely up, um, upload some really, really awesome jobs to their platform. So this one here, I suggest to people to definitely get onto this one. It's easy to use. Yet again, you like just hit the search bar. You put can put in anything into this here and then you just hit uh, whatever location that you're in. You can put different fields. So you can put, I believe, a few at, at the same time. So let's just go civil, blast, whatever, drill and blast. Um, engineering and then you hit the search jobs button it is literally that simple you can also post jobs if you're an employer but I, I guess if you're watching this right now you're probably just looking for jobs so that's all good all right we're gonna go on to the next one which is LinkedIn now LinkedIn is everyone's heard, heard me talk about LinkedIn LinkedIn is unbelievable for so many reasons by the way if you want to connect with me I've got a ton of connections I've got about 6,000 plus connections within the mining industry so it is definitely there we go 6,330 followers so if you want to um, if you want to connect with me what that means is you will be a secondary connection of all of the people that I've got in my um, LinkedIn profile so when they're doing a search let's say if they're doing a search for a um, dump truck traineeship or trainee for example if you are if your profile is set up properly and you're one of my connections you might even potentially have your profile come up in their search so LinkedIn is amazing right but we're not just um, talking about that the profile setup is pretty easy you just basically follow the links um, if you need help with this this is a service that we do we can get your profile search engine optimized and we actually add in up to 100 targeted connections to help you to get noticed so as as you can see here there's a whole lot of different sections recommendations skills education your experience activity um, your about and uh, there's a whole lot of stuff you can even upload your resume so the moment that you want to apply for jobs which is what we're about to talk about it is fantastic so let's go over to the job section here LinkedIn is awesome right you can set up your job alerts and let's have a look at some of mine to do it it is really really easy okay so you literally up here these are some of my um, searches that I've done so let's just go 
let's just excavator operator in my car right okay so what that search is once you hit put the um, search the what job that you want and what area you hit that search bar it is so bloody easy that alert means it's on okay now it's off now it's on it is that simple so all of these jobs are going to come up here and let me show you why linkedin is absolutely amazing okay so if you come over here and you've got uh, this job here so let's have a little squeeze and you can scroll down and then if you haven't already done it you can follow the company and then you can actually find their their recruiters so it's really really simple so if we if we had applied just then for that excavator operator role i could then just come in and go into people and find out who is working in recruitment right so and of course they can be called a ton of different things talent acquisitions um, recruiters like whatever let's have a look at this where they live okie dokie and these people are going to come up here so there's a chance that i could say oh hey craig um i'm actually already a connection with craig i probably shouldn't have him on this video sorry about that craig um hey craig blah, blah, blah. if i had just applied for that job there i could shoot him a message and say hey craig i've just applied for this job here um, for this excavator operator role do you know who's in charge of recruiting for that or can you point me in the right direction it is so easy that's why linkedin without a doubt is um yeah it, it's really high up there on my list so if you haven't got a linkedin account that is the benefit of having linkedin seriously so okay if you need, like i said if you need help setting up your profile feel free to get in contact with our team at info at winwin.com.au super easy we can get your um profile ranked so bloody high that employers can find you and the last one without a doubt is good old seek now seek is pretty much got the monopoly of all of the jobs this is where everybody goes to um, put their jobs because it's the most well-known platform besides linkedin and quite frankly i think linkedin should probably actually really be number one so let me just show you how to use it it's really simple all right you've got your job search there your profile career advice blah 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 the only two things that we're going to focus on are the job search and the profile and this is where if you want to find a job it's really really simple you can also set up job alerts to make it easier so when these jobs with specific keyword searches come up they will get sent directly to your profile obviously with this one and with app uh, sorry and with um linkedin and with indeed you can get the app for all i uh literally just use linkedin and seek that's it right it's super super easy so let's have a look here you can put in anything and this is where when you're searching for a job you've got to think outside of the box because some jobs will have different names but it's the same job so as a um as an example you could have a whole truck operator right or you could have dump truck operator so there are a ton of different ways so that's where when you're looking for these jobs just get creative and i always put in as well fifo so depending on because that will come up in the keyword search so then you're also going to put in let's say western australia or whatever state that you're in and then you just hit the seek button it is literally that easy and let me show you something that makes it again easier so that is going to bring up anything that has these keywords in that dump truck fifo and this is what's come up although i believe this is a residential role but dump truck there we go so you can also do uh relevance or date so relevance is basically the the keywords will be king um and they're the ones that are going to come up or you go date and this will populate to the most recent job so as you can see i don't know why carpenter or concreter has come up but uh there you go it's not it's not the best program all the time or drill fitter underground okie dokie no oh whoa 90 to 100 bucks that's not bad um anyway there you go anyone who wants wants to be a drill fitter get into it okay and as you can see there super super easy and then you just hit save so that job search there is going to be saved now and any jobs or any searches that match that search will come directly to your inbox your email address now let's get up to the nitty gritty which is your profile setting this here is going to make or break your ability for employers to find you believe it or not when we were um when when i had my employer my pl employer profile i could literally go through and download people's cvs it depends on of course your profile visibility so this is one of the key things that you want to have a look at and i'll just take you through it right this is the standard one where employers can actually view your profile and your resume and they can contact you directly if you want to do things the easy way set your um, profile visibility to that 
I've got uh, mine on hidden because I had too many employers actually ringing and offering me jobs. So I was like, no, that's all good. Thank you. Um, and then the second one is limited. This is where employers can view your profile, but not your resume and can only contact you via seek. The last one is hidden. As I said, um, this is where employers cannot search for you. Your profile can only be see, seen as part of your application. So really, really simple. And you can also um, create a link to your profile. So as you say, see here, once you create this link, others can view and reshare your shareable profile whenever you have this feature switched on. So um, I'm not really gonna go into it. As I said, mine is on hidden and I will keep it on hidden, but let's just go through a brief um, synopsis of your profile. The number one aim of the game within your Seek profile is your profile strength because the higher your profile strength, the more higher it's gonna get pushed out for people to find you in keyword searches, etc., etc. So you wanna get that green bit there to the end. So it's um, 100% spot on so there you go um you got yeah, you, this is obviously your personal details your email address your phone number etc i'm not going to go into that this personal summary bit is extremely important you can copy and paste this directly out of your uh, resume or your cover letter it's basically a personal summary um, to introduce you who you are that's where you go put in like a little bit about what you've done anything to do with potentially safety or equipment you've operated programs you've used whatever your key selling points are that potentially could be found in a keyword search that is what you want to put in there you then go down to the career history and this will populate from your your resume so really simple you can upload your resume and uh, but I'll show you that in a minute and then you can just add add more roles just make sure that they correspond and that the dates are flowing perfectly then you can add your education whatever whatever if you've got any bachelor's degrees or, or master's or anything like that, that's where you're going to put that. And then you're going to come down to the licenses and certification section. It's really important to add all this stuff in there because if an employer is doing a search for, let's say, a water card operator and they come across your profile, there's a high chance that they might want to actually get in contact with you. The next part is the skills section. This is literally where you can add as many skills as you want. And the more that you add, the higher your algorithm, your profile is gonna get ranked within the algorithm. So yeah, add whatever it is that you want in there, but make it relevant to the job that you actually want. Then uh, you've got this section languages here. You can add in languages or not. Um, basically, some people are oh, I'm not like, you know, not worth adding that in, but it definitely is. And again, it's gonna help, help to increase your profile strength. The next section is your resume. So this is where you can upload a resume, super easy. Create a resume from your Seek profile. I wouldn't recommend that. And um, also add your or manage your resume. So this is where you have a look at your resume. You can upload them super easy. Make it your default resume, um, delete, cut and paste, whatever it is that you wanna do. And that's one way that you can do it with the cover letter as well. Then you've got your about your next role, chuck in your availability, and this is where you want to, I've seen candidates going for $75,000 utility roles where they put their salary expectation over 100, which is basically a big, good luck, you're gonna get filtered out of um, any searches. So if anything with the salary, go less. Okay, that's my main tip with, for you with that one. It's really simple. Uh, if you go less and you come up in somebody's salary when they put in their search, it's going to be way easier than if you get completely shut out in the first place because your your salary expectation is up way too high and an employer looks through through your profile and goes, 120? Are you like kidding? So yeah, be be really um, strategic when you do that one. And obviously preferred locations, uh, if you're in Queensland, right, and you're wanting to move to WA to get a job over there, I would suggest putting WA, right? Um, a lot of companies, their point of hire is WA. So that is where, or like whatever, whatever state that they're in. So that is where, that's what you're going to do with that one. Anyway, that's it for this um, video. Hopefully you found it interesting and feel free to get in contact with us in faultwinwin.com.au if you need help with a resume, getting your SQL LinkedIn profiles up to date or just finding out what job is right for you. So obviously join our Facebook group as well and let me just shut that down. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye.